Another big thing that we see is typically those folks that are also using some type of Google Sheet or Excel Sheet to store, they also are using a credit card terminal. And the one thing that we want to make you aware of is the fraud that may happen on a credit card terminal. Uh, quite often, you know, there's theft that happens in the location. Essentially, if somebody were to steal a credit card terminal that was attached to your business, they could take it to their home, plug it in, and start to issue refunds to their own credit card, and that money directly comes out of your bank account. And credit card terminals are not smart enough to be able to restrict users or do things like that. So we highly encourage as well, getting off a credit card terminal and going to a smart system like Florida's Pay because what that allows you to do is have some controls as a uh, chiropractic office to know who's doing what from a refund perspective within the office, uh, which is very helpful. Just last month, we had that office where they caught the, uh, the staff member issuing refunds to their card and their friend's card and they caught it because they were looking at the reports. Now they weren't looking at them monthly or daily or weekly like they should have been to catch it fast enough, but they still caught it and were able to catch it unlike someone running a terminal. That money's gone, there's no report to ever see ever again. Only place you find it is the bank is in the bank account, unfortunately, and from a reconciliation perspective, that becomes very challenging for particular people because maybe the person that's checking the office work is not checking the bank account as well. So we've seen that struggle. So credit card terminal connected to compliance and security is secure from a PCI compliance perspective, but everything you need to do to run a payment starts to become not so secure is the yeah. point, which is dangerous. And then as we were talking about with tokenizations and recurring and that time savings, then if you have it integrated with your EHR system now, it's another step that you're able to skip because someone doesn't have to sit there and manually post it back to the ledger. And when you know, it comes to compliance on your EHR side, if you all of a sudden come in and get an audit, you wanna make sure all of those patient payments are there. You might have your insurance payments listed in there, but what about those co-pays or what if they're you know paying cash for their care you know, and the staff member just forgot to put it in, you know, having an integrated system, you know, allows you to have, you know, a more complete system. And, you know, those audits just are gonna be a lot easier when that comes up.